it's not a problem. You came all this way to see me because your boyfriend broke up with you. suffering this ailment of depression. You're not depressed. Oh, honey. I can see from your clothes. I mean, as soon as you walked in through that door, you just looked like you just didn't want to be here. I mean, therapy rules. I noticed these things right away. Well, that's a form of denial, so I'm going to have to studied some other things before I came up on the therapy school. And you look like you won't need to check your humorous bone. There's something funky going on with that arm. Just saying. I may need to refer you out to the nearest clinic. And you're giving a little bit of attitude, so I'm going to have to diagnose you some more. Let's ask you a few questions. Excuse me for needing 10 coffees before I come in to work on your problems. Okay, maybe I said too much. Let's just pretend this is the first time we're meeting. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm your therapist. Okay, let's just get started. Shut up. You paid me by the hour you demanded. Half an hour, so we need to hurry. So you don't jump off the nearest bridge. What? why you have no interpersonal relationships in your life and feel this depressed. Let people speak. Give them space and time. Let them come to you. You don't always have to push yourself onto people. Borderline. Aggression. Oh, you have psychopathy in you. You don't need a quiz to Describe you with an apple. Because when you look hungry, I can see your humorous bone. That was one of the problems with your arm. And two, as they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, not me. I gotta get paid, so come to me, but not the doctor. We only had green apples because you're quite a sour person, so here you go. Enjoy. Well, how do you generally feel with these mood swings? Are they up and down every hour, every few minutes, every other day, few days? Oh lord, you are bipolar. We may need to get you in a mandatory evaluation. Oh, you look stressed and nervous. I can feel your chakras misaligning from a mile away. We may need to get you in. 
this flashlight. Don't be alarmed, okay? It scares some people. Um, but hopefully it doesn't scare you because the last time I used this, someone popped me in the face. Just saying. Um, I'm gonna need you to get a reality check, so, um, look into this light and see it for what it is. It's a light, right? Right, so that's reality, right? Alright, just saying, because I need to check up on you, like, you're scaring me right now, you're scaring the crap out of me, and we're gonna need to evaluate you, you and uh, make sure your eyes don't look like they're dead and have no soul. Okay, so, just keep staring at this light, and, um, that's it, I'm just trying to distract you so you don't kill me. I mean, um, just keep staring at this light, we just... season is here and the air gets so dry like a desert and it's so warm so the skin feels like it's just dry and cracked like your boring stories about life that really are not supposed to be that hard stop feeling sorry for yourself you know most people come in here they just go on and on blaming being the victim feeling sorry being in misery being in pity misery loves come you come in here feeling like that, you give that energy to me, and I have to go home and take that with me. That's why you pay me for my time, okay? How about we all just enjoy life for once and stop feeling so sorry for ourselves and other people. Let people be. They're a learning experience in this life. You don't have to feel that way. That's why people don't like you, because you keep sharing over and over again about how um, this person did the you wrong in this way and you feel so sad but enough of that that's what the real therapist is gonna tell you they're not gonna sugarcoat or butter it up to continue getting sessions with you okay if you don't like the real tea get out the kitchen now if you'll excuse me oil. You didn't pay for it. Do you know how much this oil cost me? Maybe after the 10th session. How about that? That'll get you to come in more. I'm just feeling the tensions from you. It is very disturbing, so I'm gonna give you this pillow. Do you want this pillow? Because it's our special therapy punching pillow and I just feel like your vibrations are emitting this 
this nervousness towards my way as if I am the enemy trying to gaslight you or something. So you just need this pillow to attack instead of me with your harsh vocabulary. It's very fluffy, very feathery indeed. And it's a very gray, dull, depressing color just like your boring, miserable existence that you perceive to be true. So I will give this to you to punch and let out that anger. Because when we bottle up emotions, we just want to attack someone. So better to attack.
I know I said to do it, but you took so long. Rude. Look what you made me do. I got some oil on my page. Bad influence on society. Disrespectful. Ungrateful. Traumatic. Did you finish your apple? Go eat it. People have no food to eat. More ungrateful than I thought. I even got ink on my hand. You were just all over like a sourpuss teenager who didn't get his chocolate chip cookie or something. Jesus. His or whatever, I can't tell. Selenite wand that is a crystal that will clear you up. You need to meditate.
you need to stop being 